the most common practices used to manage for bobwhite quail, which is one of our more popular game birds here in Oklahoma, is prescribed fire. But bobwhite have really small home ranges, uh, typically less than a couple hundred acres, sometimes as small as 40 or 50 acres. So in a perfect world, you'd like to manage the size of your prescribed fire to match the home ranges of bobwhite quail. For bobwhite, you might want to consider breaking up your burns into smaller management units or Alternatively, you could burn during other times of the year when you don't get a complete combustion of the fuel in that fire unit, such as during the summer months. And from a ground nesting bird standpoint, if you'll wait till about after July 15th, you'll avoid most ground nesting birds when you're doing your prescribed burns. But um, when you do burn, if you break it up into small units, what you're trying to create is this kind of mosaic of different time sense fires with different plant compositions and different st plant structures. Because as time progresses following a fire, the plant structure gets denser, grasses get taller, shrubs get larger, and the number of forbs usually goes down. And bobwhite really need all of that. They need dense nesting cr cover and good shrub cover like we see here behind us. Uh, during the nesting season and during the winter months, but they also need a lot of forb cover. And this site that we're standing in now has been recently burned, about a year out, and there's lots of forbs which are really important for uh, insects and the seeds that they produce, and they're really uh, important for, during the summer months for bobwhite chicks. And the shrub cover, which has mostly been top killed by fire, uh, the blackberry in particular, but it, it's gonna come back over time, and it's good winter cover. So now we've transitioned in to a different patch in this pasture. This is, was burned two years ago. And you can see in the background that the grass is starting to take dominance. There's not as many forbs here because it's been a little bit longer time since a disturbance, in this case fire. So we have more grass cover. And this is really good nesting habitat for bobwhite quail, whereas the other site was really good brood rearing or chick habitat. And you can also see that this shrub cover, in this case su sumac, is getting a little taller. Uh, it's two, had two years of growth since a fire, and it's providing some good thermal protection during the heat of the summer for bobwhite to move into for shade. But also in the winter, it'll provide uh, good, good protection from uh, the cold and the wind and from predation. And it also produces seed that bobwhite can utilize. So the point of all this is that if you have different patches within a larger pasture that you've burned at different intervals, you can meet all of the needs of bobwhite quail, that early successional uh, forb rich brood habitat, that uh, shrub cover that's critical during the summer and winter, and also this nesting grass cover. So you want to think about burning every two or three years for bobwhite quail and try to break your property into different patches so that you're not burning everything at once. <laughs>